Well, that was fun. Um, you know, it was, uh, got pretty interesting there. You know, we had a chance to, you know, uh, drive before the last one to uh, try to take the lead and, you know, really didn't get much done on that drive. Um, but the guys just kept battling. The defense gave us another opportunity. Um, and I was just so proud of the way that we finished. Um, and, you know, it's something that we talk about. It's just finding a way to finish, you know, and sometimes it takes the whole time. Um, and uh, just, just proud of the guys, really fired up and excited for that. This is a lot, a lot of people are going to make stuff out of, out of the offense performance, but the defense getting those two stops back to back. After what they've been through the last eight games, what did that mean to you and your staff and, and the locker room to, to have that, the, that sequence? Yeah, it was it was just a uh, a great job of the guys just having that finish mentality, you know. And um, I think the discipline of it is you don't pass judgment on the outcome of a game based on what happens early on, you know. And um, it was back and forth, you know, a little bit there. But um, for the guys to be able to to play our calls, uh, to execute the way we want them to execute and make plays when it came to them, um, the guys got to be proud of that. You know, I can't be more fired up for a group, you know, um, that has had to just fight and scratch and find a way to play defense. How would you assess Bryce Young's day today? Uh, solid. I got, I got again. I got to look at the whole thing. Got to watch the film and all that stuff. Um, but he came up big in some critical moments, you know, and gave us an opportunity um, a couple of times. So um, again, just just proud of the step that he took. Again, you know, just uh, taking all the things we're asking him to do, <clears throat> getting us to the right plays um, at the right time. So a great step. Are you ready to name him starter for next week? Uh, not yet. We'll take in all the information, we'll watch the film. We got to process. We got to make sure we look at all this stuff. Um, and uh, we'll let you guys know, you know, um, in the next couple of days. That was his first game-winning drive, game-winning touchdown drive of his career. What would hold you back from naming him the starter? Again, just looking at all the information we have, um, taking a look at the film, all that stuff, and making sure that we make the best decision for the team. Hey, first home win, and how does that change perspective? I know it's been a tough season so far, but the mindset of the team winning a game like this today. It's just exciting, you know, to, to see the hard work pay off, to see all the, uh, you know, coming back every single week, coming back after losses and having to just go right back to the film, right back to the basics and the fundamentals, and it just gives us a chance to point to those things, you know, and, and show where those things showed up and show the things we got to continue to improve. Hey, a couple of different times today, JT came up with a big play. Yeah. Uh, just the playmaker, you know, just, you know, it was, a, it was a check down and he, you know, hurdled a guy, stayed on his feet and really flipped the field. I'm just proud of him for, you know, the young guys in general, but JT for sure today, you know, just taking advantage of some of those opportunities one on one down the field. Um, so a great step forward for him. Oh, the whole thing. I mean, it, it was just a great effort play. Uh, you know, he took care of the ball, too. You know, in, in those situations, a lot of times the ball can be in peril, but he, he kept it high and tight, and that's what we're asking him to do. Dave Exel made some big plays today, also went out with an injury, came back in. Uh, and yeah. How's he doing, and what have you thought of him kind of growing into the role that he's growing into right now? He's doing great. You know, um, a couple of opportunities down the field, you know, wish we could have back. Um, but, you know, he continues to play fast. He's a big, strong dude, you know, and for him to be able to, you know, come back out, you know, after, you know, the assessment and all that, uh, to come back out and to finish the game was, was awesome. Did, did, his, did his hand injury affect that interception? I don't know. I got to take a look at that. Wasn't sure which hand he had locked in that, on that particular play. So, um, but it could be. It was, uh, it was a fantastic play um, by the uh, corner on that one. Oh, just like the rest of the guys, just continue to press into the core of our concepts, you know, the details and the fundamentals, the things that they are improving on, that they're taking strides in. So um, that's really it, just staying the course and the improvement, the week-to-week -week mentality that we have, you know, just coming back to work on Wednesday and making sure that we're, you know, taking those steps. Dave, you, have a, you had a makeshift offensive line. I mean, you had your fill-in starting center playing left tackle, and you had your third starting center of the season. How did you, th I mean, you gave up one sack, it looked like a cover sack. How do you think that group performed overall without actually looking at the tape? Yeah, I'm proud of those guys. And it just goes back to the confidence we have in our guys to step in, take advantage of these opportunities, respect in these moments for these guys that get these opportunities to show what they can do. You know, and um, the bottom line is just trying to find a way to help the team win. And they did that. And they were all together working all the stuff all week, you know, and just, uh, you know, really proud of Cade, really proud of Brady, you know, getting out there um, and being able to help us win today. Hey, Bryce seemed frustrated after a three and out where there were a lot of plays, uh, throws right around the line of scrimmage. Looked like he had a conversation with you. Did that kind of help influence you or the two of you to kind of 
let some rip then later in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and, and the way that series played out, you know, it was it was the plays just went to those spots. You know, um, one of them was a was a you know screen with an aggressive you know part of it as well. Um, but he, you know, they had a great call. I thought they had you know really really better better calls on two of those screens than we had. You know, and then we just missed the throw on the second down to Xavier that I thought we had a chance on. Um, but um, yeah, those are those are ones I'll look at, and I'm sure I'll be kicking myself for. And how did that conversation kind of impact you going forward? I'll keep all of those conversations kind of private. But again, uh, I think Joe, you're asking the right question. You know, just knowing, you know, knowing when I can be aggressive and, and taking advantage of those opportunities. And Bryce continuing to show that when I give him those play calls, he's going to find opportunities down the field, which he did a good job of today. Go ahead. That last pass breakup that Mike had. It looked like it was right in front of the, the bench. What did you kind of see on that play? What was your point of view? Oh, just the energy of the sideline exploding on that, you know, um, a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Those are the things that we've talked about, you know, playing our leverage, playing playing our assignments, you know, and then just making those plays when they come to you. So a huge play for Mike. Um, I'm so proud of him. And, and also just the guys, just the moment was special, the moment to see the guys finish all the way through to the last play. So uh, really proud of him. Where was the breakdown on the two-point conversion or the delay of game? Uh, we got to talk to the guys. I got to gather more information on that. Here yeah, Red Bull defense um, in the last few weeks seems to be trending in the right direction. Yeah. Early the game, especially today. How big was that? Yeah, it's huge. You know, I think it was the number of opportunities um, and our, our calls, our execution, all those things are getting better. We're getting tighter with our coverage, um, allowing the rushers to get closer to the quarterback, you know, force some errant throws and those things. Um, and it's just, you know, it's the number of trips down there and, and that we want to try to minimize. But the guys, you know, force some, some critical field goals, which ended up, you know, winning us the game. So just keep playing. Just keep playing. As long as there's downs, as long as there's grass, just keep playing. And that's what they did. How would you say Bryce Young's confidence was different today in the other games he's played so far this year? Yeah, it just helps being out there, you know, having the game uh, in Denver, you know, to go through some things that we talked about, you know, and trying to just build, just trying to take steps. Um, so he did that. He reengaged last week. Um, you know, he was focused and he just continued to work on his game, you know, and work on his teammates like he has been.